Well, hello, my darlings, and welcome back to our channel. I am so glad you are here. Today on Danny's Designs Craft Month 2018, Day 7, I am going to show you how to create a psychedelic Christmas tree ornament, the foundation of which you will never guess. Stay tuned. For this project, you will need a ball, any color of your choosing. You will need a small pail. I got this iridescent one from Walmart. It was 97 cents. You will need some 32 gauge wire, as well as some embellishments, any embellishments of your choosing. I'm using my floral diamond wrap and a few of these iridescent gems. And of course, you will need your handy dandy tools and today we're going to be working with a silicone adhesive let's get crafting so the first thing we're going to do to prepare for our project is remove the handle that the pail came with the reason why we are doing this is because this handle is not long enough to go on top of the pail or rather to hang the pail upside down with that handle because it is too short a mouthful I know so what we're going to do is remove the handle by simply unfurling the hooks that they place in that handle and possibly setting that handle on a side for use in another project. Now we are going to take our wire that of course is not as sturdy as the wire that we once had and we are going to measure to see how long we need that handle to be and once we have found our measurement we're simply going to cut that wire and set the excess aside. Now all we are going to do is quite simply place that wire in the holes that came with the pail itself and once we have placed our wire in the hole we are simply going to twist that wire bend it over and twist it with our wire cutter to ensure that it is secure and that wire is going to be set into place so here you see i'm taking my wire cutter and i am twisting that wire on the inside making a little knot that is of course bigger than the hole that is there to ensure that that wire does not slip out and i'm going to show you in a while what that looks like and there it is just twisting the wire to make sure that it does not slip out and then I am going to repeat this process on the other side I may cut off because that handle seems to be a little long so I may cut off a little bit more of that handle but simply going in finding my measure taking my wire cutters and twisting that wire on the other side so here we have our handle that we have just affixed to our pail and now what we're going to do is take our floral embellishment and embellish the top of that pail well which is actually the bottom but which is going to be the top <laughs> by using our floral embellishment to do so now I am simply putting a dollop of that hot glue on the back of each of those floral embellishments and working my way around. I'm going to place my glue on the back of this floral embellishment, maybe three, four flowers at the time, and I'm going to work my way around until I get to the other side. So here we have our pail that we have embellished with our floral diamond wrap. Isn't that iridescence beautiful? I think I'm going to have to go back and get a few more of those pails. <laughs> Forgive me for the mental note. But now what we're going to do is sit our ball in another one of those pails in an effort to steady that ball, but most importantly to center it. Because when we're going to glue the pail that is going to become the top of our ornament, we want to make sure that that pail is sitting flush center. And so 
To glue this pail onto our ball, we are going to use our adhesive silicone going around the brim of that pail. Now at first I thought I was going to use a stream. However, for the sake of this video and to make sure I can get an immediate adhesion so that I can finish filming, what I have done instead was go around that rim with bullets of silicone and then you guessed it filling in the alternating spaces with my hot glue now for those of you who follow me for a while you know that I use a high heat hot glue gun and so what you see I'm doing here is cooling off this glue before I put it on the ball because Hashtag true story. I did not do this with one that I was trying to make to make the pair and that ball Exploded and that was the end of that and so just make sure if you are doing this my darlings You are doing this with a low heat gun or if you have a high heat gun You allow that glue to cool before you place it on your ball. So here we have our pail on top of our ball and our ornament is looking better by the moment. What we're going to do now, or what I'm going to do now, <clears throat> excuse me, to make sure that I am edging my pail with the same embellishment that I used on the top is go in once again with my floral embellishment so that I have a consistent decorative look throughout my entire process. Now once again, I am trying to handle this without I myself getting burned, but most importantly, allowing that hot glue to cool before I place it on the box. And so, of course, and again, pretty much like we did it the first time, by placing bullets on the back of each of those flowers. That is what I'm going to do again, allowing that hot glue to dry and then setting those floral embellishments into place three or four at a time until I get to the other side. So here we have our ornament that has been embellished throughout with our floral diamond wrap and here you can see where our ball has been sealed with that silicone glue and our hot glue and now what we're going to do is place a few iridescent crystal gems around the equator of that ball, the half point. And to do this, what I'm going to do is place each of those crystal tiles three inches one from the other in an effort to make sure that my tiles have been placed equidistantly apart i am going to use a marker and my tape measure to ensure that i'm measuring that three inches going around the entire equator of that ball when i have found my three inches i'm simply going to take my marker and i'm going to mark where that three inches fell and then I'm going to turn my ball, use my tape measure once again to find that three inches. And once I have found that three inches, I'm going to make another mark so that I know where to place my tile once again. Once I have finished finding my measurements, it is simply going to be a matter of taking each one of those tiles, placing some hot glue, on the back of each one of those tiles allowing that hot glue to cool for a few moments because we do not want to burst this one and once we have cooled it placing it where we have marked so I'm going to continue this process off camera going all the way around to the other side or rather right back where I started from. I'm going to clean this up of any glue fronds there are and then I'm going to take this outside and I will come back to show you what our finished project looks like. Well, here you have it my darlings, our large psychedelic Christmas tree ornament. 
Isn't this whimsical? <laughs> I think I would have to say that my favorite part of this ornament is the ornament itself. I just like the way the different colors on that ball, the pattern on that ball, the iridescence of the pale, the iridescence of the crystal tiles that we put down all come together to make an incredibly cohesive piece. I really enjoy this, my darlings. <laughs> I can see this on the eaves the patios of houses outdoors i can see this even as i have staged it um in the backyard on your trees in the backyard if you are happening happen to decorate your outdoors as you decorate your inside i can even see this as a <clears throat> christmas ornament on your large tree on the inside if you are going for a psychedelic look <laughs> and so my darlings if you have found any value in this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up as well as leave me a comment in the comment section below i would love to hear from you to my danny's darlings please know that i appreciate all of your love your comments your questions your feedback but most importantly your encouragement please know that none of it is wasted and i appreciate each and every one of you to those of you who may not yet be Danny's darlings, but who may have stumbled across our channel today, kindly consider subscribing to our channel to join our ever-growing community of DIYers as we learn from and craft with each other on a weekly basis. And if you do, also be sure to ring the notification bell to ensure that you are made aware whenever any of our videos have been published and whenever we go live as a community. Well, my darlings, before I sign off from today's video, Danny's Designs Craftmas 2018 Day 7, I'm going to leave you with a motto to our channel, which is simply this. Say it with me. Why, by, when you can DIY. And so, my darlings, until tomorrow when hopefully you will join me for Danny's Designs Craftmas 2018 Day 8, I say to you, please, please, please take care of yourselves for me. Know that I love you all. <laughs> Bye now. <laughs>